Well, actually, not wizard mage. They're called mages, but you know, whatever. Yeah, what's the difference? Like, I mean, I don't know. Is that just, just an Elder Scrolls thing? That they call them mages. I or think what? it's just an Elder Scrolls thing. I'm pretty sure they mean the same thing. Well, yeah, but like, I mean, there's a difference between sorcerers and like freaking. <coughs> there is. What are so what's the difference between sorcerers and wizards? I don't know. Oh, here, this is the quest I was talking about. Yeah. I wonder why they're after her. I don't know. Let's do. Yeah, maybe we should do this quest. Cause side quests honestly seem more interesting than like a lot of the main ones, except for the College of Winterhold. That one's. Yeah. But the first few quests for the College of Winterhold aren't that good. No, they're not. Not until you get to like the uh, what's it called? I remember what it was called? But where you see that like big blue ball of light thing that talks. Yeah. The midden. That's what it was. Yeah. The, once you get to that, it gets pretty cool. Yeah. And like when you ha when you have to fight that big skeleton dragon and get the um uh the what's it called that staff of Magnus. Yeah. And then when you find the eye of Magnus too, that's pretty cool. Dude, like just the, like the first two kind of suck. <laughs> like the ending to the quest of College of Winterhold is so epic. I know, like that could be like a boss fight for a game. As I said, that basic storyline could be the basis for a game. That's the a difference between WRPGs and what and JRPGs. Like JRPGs have epic boss battles, but in like a game like Skyrim, it's so open yeah. that it's hard for them to do like a real boss fight. Well, like when you fight Alduin later with Parthenax, that's kind of final boss even though it's not it's epic but it's not like uh you know it's not like fighting the uh, like an epic dude in final fantasy or something well yeah like like what you like as you said jrpgs have more epic boss fights like in final fantasy but like western rpgs have epic fights too but it's they're more based on like open worldness and stuff and quests oh hey so <coughs> <laughs> did we tell her to wait here? I think we did. I think so. Yeah, she hasn't been following us. I'm surprised. So, Lydia, still mad at us for knocking you off that cliff? Let's see. What do you need? What do you need? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, because she, like, worships us, so, you know. She's probably like, she's probably <coughs> like, please, let me go with you. Oh, look, she's even following me. Uh, I think you told her to follow you. Did I? Or uh, maybe not. Um, I guess not. Is that AI really that dumb? Like, <laughs> she just got up from one side and sat in another chair. Farm daughter, let's do business. No, I'm not. How do you enchant stuff? Oh, uh, no, I didn't mean to ask you that. Whatever. I don't have the coin, so shut your ass. <laughs> Uh, what do you have? What we've got for sale? It's up there. Ah, okay. Shut up, douche. Okay, books. Candlelight is good if we don't want to use torches anymore. Yeah, here's Firebolt. Yeah, we could get that. All right. <coughs> uh, let's see. Um, there's also like other ones like Lightning Bolt. Yeah. Which one do you think? We can do well, both. Well, Firebolt costs less, and Lightning Bolt help, um, costs more, but does more... I think it does more damage. But it also, uh, like, does da damage to Magicka. So maybe we could do both. I don't know. Uh, Lightning Bolt, 25 damage. Shock damage. Firebolt, 25... Okay, so... No, it's the same. We can specialize in one, though. Yeah. I like electricity, but fire is good, too. Fire doesn't like get rid of stamina or magic or anything like lightning and ice, but it it do, it does take less magic. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, want to do that then? Sure. Just, just for now. Yeah. While we're for weak. now, we'll do fire. All right, and then we should do mage light, right? Or candle light. Mage light is one that sticks to what you throw it at. All right, candle light's better then. <coughs> uh, then we should do like a armor spell, probably. Like steadfast ward. Or Ooh, something. do you think fast healing? Sure. All right going crazy on spells <laughs> but that's the point fury now i remember i went crazy on spells once and then i was like couldn't ca like 
cast any of them barely. Well, I could, but not really. Here's the armor spell. Improves armor rating. Do you want that? Uh, sure. Right. It's cheap, too, so... Uh, I don't know about Conjuration. At le we gotta at least get Why Soul Trap, Why is the Oblivion though. symbol? Because it's, like, demonic souls. Oh. You conjure up creatures from Oblivion and stuff. Oh, here's the better one. Stone Fail. Flesh. Oh. Well, it's probably, like, hard to cast for us at this point. Alright. Yeah, well, I'm forgetting that we're not very good. Uh, well, we okay. can probably cast all these, just maybe not for very long. Alright, so we good for now? Yeah, I'd say so. Or do we have a ward spell to fight mages? I don't think we, we do. Don't don't buy a ward because we can get a ward for free from the College of Winterhold. We get lesser ward for free. Oh, okay. You remember when Tolfdeer is doing his lesson thing? Well, I already had it, though. <laughs> Oh, wait, do we already have it? Maybe. Well, I mean, when I did it with my character, I didn't... Oh, well, it's in Restoration, unless we have it in a book. But... We all... Oh, wait. We must... Yeah, we already have... Oh, I, I, I didn't buy that. Never mind. Sweet. So check to see if we have Lesser Ward. So it costs 30, but we can get the spell. Oh, well, that's easy. Like... Oh, see, it doesn't cost that much. Yeah. What about Dual Wielded, though? Yeah, that, like, almost all of it. But anyways, uh, let's see. <coughs> let's favorite that. Uh, okay, restoration. And yeah, we don't have it, but we can get it for free from Tolf Deer. So. Destruction. Oh. Uh, ooh, we can... Ah, no. Nah. Clairvoyance takes a lot. Candlelight. Oak flesh. What's transmute? I don't oh, think that... I've ever seen that one before. That's the one where you can, like, transfer iron to silver and silver to gold. Uh, That's kind of cool. That is cool. It costs so much, though, 88. Yeah. This costs 91, so... What? What's that? The armor rating uh, one? Oak flesh. Yeah. Looks cool in your hands, though. It does. I've never really used those before. What Do they just make your armor stronger? Yeah. It's like you're wearing 40 points of armor. Oh, uh, that's so cool. That I actually, should use that. <laughs> that'd be really useful to fight the bandits. I'm stuff. pretty sure I have Oak Flesh on my character. I should use that more often. Dude, the the level 100 spell for alteration is Dragon Skin. Yeah. And it's like a freaking like 300 armor boost or something. Oh my god. If you're a mage, you don't need like armor or weapons or anything because you can just use an uh, armor spell to increase your armor. Then you can use Destruction for... Uh, hurting people, then restoration for healing yourself, then um, <coughs> you can use, like, bound sword if you need a sword for some reason. Yeah, seriously, mage is, like, the most powerful character. It doesn't matter what anyone says. Mage can be anything. Yeah. Because you, cause you don't need, like, anything as long as you're good with magic. You don't even need to buy potions or anything. You can just heal yourself. Yeah. So... We should stop spending perks in Warrior. I'm thinking we should go all on Mage. Yeah, we should. Because it's, it's so beast. Uh, so do you want to do Novice Alteration or something? Well, I don't know what level it is. It's probably Novice, but... Yeah. All right, you want to do that? Are we gonna, do you think we're going to use that spell a lot? Probably. Okay, then I mean, maybe we, we could do that. We nearly died. Uh, well, so if we get into like a tough fight, we can use Oak Flesh. And... Yeah, all right. Do you want to maybe now go to the Guardian Stone and change it to magic or something? Yeah. That might be a good idea. Conjuration. I don't think we'll deal with Illusion very much. What is, it, what is Illusion anyway? What kind of spells is that? Because my guy is a mage, but I pretty much only deal with Destruction and Restoration. It's where you, like, trick people and, like, invisibility, fear, combat. Oh. It's more of, like, a thief thing, kind of. Yeah. I would like I would like eventually since my guy is a mage to like master like all the schools, but right now I'm just focusing on the ones that are most useful to me, like restoration and destruction. Huh. Candlelight. That's yeah. an awesome spell. It is. Doesn't take that much magic either. Yeah. Isn't isn't there a school of magic for enchanting stuff? How do you enchant stuff? Well it's enchanting, it's not like a school. Oh, it's the arcane enchanter. Uh, yeah. I've never really dealt with enchanting stuff. That enchanting much. is really cool. It's a lot better than it was in Morrowind or Oblivion. Yeah. Oh yeah, we should have brought the Soul Trap spell probably. Oh yeah, we should have. Eh, that's fine. Because that's good for enchanting. And there's this one danger <coughs> quest we can do that's good for uh. 
you know, stuff. I know you haven't played like Minecraft lately because your computer broke, but like, in- they added enchanting like weapons and stuff to Minecraft, huh. and I hate enchanting stuff in Minecraft because what you have to do is you have to kill enemies to get experience, and then you use that experience to enchant stuff. But like, and what I mean, what you can en- you can enchant your stuff and you get really cool stuff. But the thing is, you put it into an enchanting table, which is something you have to craft. And then you, like, put it in, and based on your level, it will give you a bunch of different things. You can enchant it, but it doesn't tell you what... Are we landing in a tree? <laughs> it doesn't tell you what you're, it's going to give you until you use it. It just, like, you just, like, have three things to click on, and you click on one and hope you get something good. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. But if you get something good, it's like, this is awesome! <laughs> but, you know. If you get something not good, you're like, damn it, that was a waste. Yeah. Huh. They've so, added they've added a lot to Minecraft since you last played. Trust me. And if you get a computer, you'll be you'll be amazed. <laughs> Is that trouble? Spot? Wait, I hit a wolf. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of interrupted you. What were you gonna say? Oh, uh, I was just gonna say how are you gonna how do you make it? What do you need for uh, to craft the enchanting table in Minecraft? Yeah, you need. I think you need four pieces of obsidian, obsidian. and two diamonds and a book. It's like four pieces of obsidian, like three on the bottom, then one on top of the one in the middle on the bottom. Then I think two diamonds on the side of the obsidian block on the top, and then a book on top of that. So it's not that expensive to make. Yeah, you just need... Well, obsidian and diamonds are kind of hard to find, but you know, it's well, worth it. <laughs> obsidian... I'm not, saying I don't, I'm not saying I don't like enchantments, I just don't like how you don't know what you're going to get until you enchant it. Yeah. <clears throat> And have they fixed, like, the experience orb glitch where, like, everything would jack up or whatever? What do you mean? I'm killing these animals just to get the destruction <coughs> experience. Yeah. Because we're kind of novice. What but... do you mean, like, experience orbs were jacked up? <laughs> like, remember how, uh, like, you when you kill NPCs, monsters and stuff... You like they you get experience from them, like yeah. the, the green orbs fall out of them and you collect them and then you gain levels. So that any and how it used to not mean anything, but if you were like a high level and you died, you'd <clears throat> lose it all. All the orbs would be dropped and it would like crash the game because there were like a thousand because <laughs> there were like well, thousands of green orbs laying everywhere. Well, back when experience started, it had no purpose because that was before enchanting. But the only purpose I believe for experience now is enchanting. Yeah. Um, and then I think, and then I think based on your level when you die, it like gives you a score or something, but it's mostly enchanting. But if you die, you do lose all that experience. Because it's not like, you know, in Skyrim where you're just supposed to level up to get stronger, it's only for enchanting. Well, yeah, I think you like only, I think when you die, you like, only like half your experience drops and you lose the rest of it, so it doesn't like totally crash everything. Alright. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> I remember, yeah... It, there was a, that was a problem. You would like easily die from like an Enderman or something. <coughs> and when was the last time you played? Because I think I don't think you had a computer dude, that worked back when they added experience. Right, dude. Right after my computer died, that's when they added like the experience. Like, they, like when one point eight came out. Like yeah, like right after that happened. Yeah, I suppose you saw videos or something. Yeah. Yeah. But the I think the coolest thing that they just added in uh, one point two. Minecraft full version 1.2 is they added it like the the world the top world height used to be like 64 blocks like you could only go 64 blocks up from like uh, sea level or whatever but now they changed it so you can go like 300 blocks high huh wow. so yeah it's pretty awesome speaking of Minecraft and blocks you want to do some Minecraft because we're really not doing anything in this right now. Do you mean Total Miner? Yeah. Oh, did, I, did I say Minecraft? Yeah, you said oh. Minecraft. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, it and it froze. Better. Oh, God. When was the last time we saved? I don't know. Did it? Is it like saving or something? Because sometimes it freezes when you save. Or when it uh, saves. Yeah, I guess it is frozen. Uh, wh- why? <laughs> Fail. Uh, well, we and you know what's funny is we were just talking about stopping. <laughs> it's like get off now. It's like okay, <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully we didn't lose too much because I don't think we're gonna be able to like pause it. 
Yeah. When was the last time we saved? I'm it like... must have auto-saved when we left White Run at least. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully we didn't lose too much. Maybe just like that experience from fighting those uh deer. <laughs> That's probably all we lost. So it's yeah. not that bad. All right. Well, let's uh let's end this recording. Yeah. yeah. See ya. Such this... a quite uh anticlimactic ending <laughs> see it session uh five yep. whatever that is exactly whatever that begins which yeah since we froze but anyway yeah see you later well.